we'll begin our study of polyhedra. Before we look at the definition of a polyhedron, we first define a half space. A half space in Rn is a set of the following form. In other words, it's the set of points in Rn satisfying a single non-trivial linear inequality. A polyhedron is the intersection of a finite number of half spaces. For example, this set here is a polyhedron. Now, notice that this set can be written more simply as follows. It's a set of x1, x2 satisfying both inequalities. And from this we can see that the feasible region of a linear programming problem is a polyhedron. The word polyhedra is the plural for polyhedron. We are now going to show that polyhedra are convex. Notice that it is sufficient to show that half spaces are convex because a polyhedron is the intersection of a finite number of half spaces, and so if half spaces are convex, then the intersection is also convex. So let's take a half space H, and we're going to show that H is convex. To do this, we pick two elements from H, U and V, and we want to show that the line segment between U and V is contained in H. In particular, if Z is equal to 1 minus lambda times U plus lambda times V, for some lambda from the interval 0, 1, then Z is an element of H. To test if Z is an element of H, we simply need to check if Z satisfies this inequality. So A transpose Z is 1 minus lambda times A transpose U plus lambda times A transpose V. Because lambda is at most 1, this is non-negative, and this is also non-negative, a transpose u we know is at least beta because u is an element of h. A transpose v is also at least beta because v is an element of h. So combining these inequalities, we can say that this is at least 1 minus lambda times beta plus lambda times beta, and this reduces simply to beta. So A transpose z is at least beta. Hence, z is in h implying that H is convex.